Welcome back to Big Boss Mirror with Brandy Von Holten. Today, I have someone by the name of Tina Dulabin, and Tina is with the Missouri Women in Agriculture, but I'm going to have her talk about the event that they put on, the conference they put on yearly, and I'm going. we're going to get to know Tina. All right, so welcome to Big Boss Mayor, Tina. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So, Tina, a little bit about yourself. So, um, you are married. I am. Married. Now then, how many kids do y'all have between the two of you? Between us, we have five. Okay. All grown adults, yes. All grown adults. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, um, you have three and he has two. So, tell me yes. about your three kids. My three, my oldest, um, Jessica, she is actually 42 years old. She lives up at Warrensburg, and she's an x-ray technician. And her and her husband have three uh, daughters, three granddaughters for for us. Okay. um, Ranging from 23 down to soon to be 15 and soon to be 13. Okay, so your 42-year-old daughter has a 23, a 15, and a 13. So I'm 43, and I never have, I never had kids, right? Uh So I'm over here like, whoa, (laughs) I I just forget. I forget because I never had kids. So that right there is one of your daughters. Yes. Um, What about your other two kids? Well, Jennifer, she's the next one. She lives down at Bolivar. She's 40 years old. Um, she's an elementary teacher down there at Bolivar. Okay. And between, uh, with her and her husband, they have two girls also. We have all granddaughters. They have um, two girls. Um, they are 14 and 8. Okay, so two more daughters. So you got five granddaughters. Oh, I'm not done. Oh, you're not done. <laughs> all right. So did you, now the youngest, is it a boy or a girl? It's a boy. Okay, and how mm-hmm. old is he? Andrew is 33. Okay, so there were uh-huh. seven years between uh-huh. your second and your third. Okay, yes. so does he have any children? He does. He and his wife, Carly, they have two little ones. And I said we have all girls. I keep forgetting just just four months ago we had our first grandson. So oh. they have a little girl that's three, uh, soon to be three, and then our little grandson that's five months. Okay, so what's the uh-huh. grandson's name? His name is Branch. Branch, yes. like B-R-A-N-C-H. Yes. Okay, where did they come up with that? Well, there was a show, and I'm trying to think what that show is called, uh, Longmire. Uh-huh. Longmire, and on that uh, show, Longmire, one of the um, deputies on there, his name was Branch. Okay. And that just stuck with them. They okay. liked that. I like that. That is, that's about as country as chicken fried steak. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yes. So what does your 23-year-old granddaughter do? She actually works for um, Natural Resources Conservation Service. She's a federal employee under the USDA Natural Resources Conservation Service. Okay, so um, we're going to... We're going to shift right now because you work for the Benton County Soil and Water Conservation, and you've done that for how long? For this, this year will be 31 years. 31 years. Okay, Mm -hmm. so tell me exactly what you do. Okay, well, Benton County Soil and Water Conservation uh, works with the landowners in our county uh, to do just that, to to stop soil erosion and uh, water quality. Okay. Um, we do a lot of education. I do a lot of education through the Soil and Water District. Um, I work with not only students in high school during what we call the Envirothon, which is a big event that's coming up. Um, I also work uh, with the classes that ask me to come in and teach their kids about soil, how it's made, um, and how quickly it can go away uh, by soil erosion. Okay. So, okay, my husband, several years ago, for an anniversary, I was like, do you want to get your gift on our anniversary date, or do you want to do what I have planned for us over the weekend? And he's like, on our anniversary. So our anniversary is May 15th. Okay, Okay. so that's the end of the school year. I had to go to college that day and do a um, a presentation over soil erosion, and I think it was over creep creep erosion or something like. I I don't even know if I'm saying that if that's correct. That's what I it felt like it was, but it was where the light poles or the electric poles will start leaning, and that's because the bottom layer of the dirt is moving. So I had to do a whole presentation about 
erosion and about soil. And then, you know what I did for our anniversary is I took him to the Great Wolf Lodge. But we had to hurry up after this, you know, presentation about soil at the college and then go to Great Wolf Lodge. And both of us had to be back at work. And we had to leave there at like 6.15 in the morning to get to work the next day. So, I mean, I let him choose, but he was like, you should have not, you should have told me. Yeah, what it definitely. Was. Because we could have spent the weekend there, but I, I let him choose, you know. Mm-hmm. So he's just mm-hmm. like, this is really cool, you know. But if you've ever That's get fun. the chance to, Great Wolf Lodge is a lot of fun. So your your granddaughter, she works in for conservation, did you say, USDA? Yes, yes. Ac- actually, uh, the soil and water districts work hand-in-hand with the Natural Resources Conservation Service. And she originally started out um, almost two years ago with soil and water conservation and was able to just work her way up in the last two years, pretty quick movement, into natural resources conservation. So mm-hmm. it's a big step up for her. Okay, all right, so we went through your three kiddos. Now that Nelson came with two, are they younger or older or the same age as yours? Well, they're younger than mine. So okay. I, I got to start with two wonderful boys, um, blessed with them. Um, one of them, the oldest one, is Garrett, and he's uh, 29, and he lives in Kansas City. He's into um, fitness and training, and okay. that's what he does up there. Okay, so he's a personal trainer? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, Does he work for a company, or does he have, like, his own clients that he... He he currently works for a company, yes. Okay, all right. And then what about your other... You're a Nelson's other kid. That would be Blake. Blake is the youngest of all of them, and he's 26. Okay. Um, so he just kind of had to fly right out of our nest because at 26, you're a you're an adult now and all oh, on yeah. your own. So, <laughs> well, according to your insurance, um, yes. the frontal your frontal lobe has finally developed enough that your insurance would well, it drop for boys at what 26 or 24? 26. Yes. Oh yeah. So mm-hmm. your brain is finally developed. <laughs> yes. So what is um what is you said. His name is Blake. What Blake. does he do? Yes. He uh, lives in Sedalia, and he works for SC Fuel, which is his mom and oh. his stepdad's uh, food company. And so he's a manager there. So I take it you know SC I Fuel. Do know, yes. I do know SC Fuel. Yeah, that is ran by Sandra and Chris. Fisher. So yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. So Sandra is Nelson's um, previous wife. Yeah, that is correct. Okay. Yes. Okay. What a mm-hmm. small world. Yes. Okay. Well, I've probably met Blake. I'm sure you have. Oh, yeah. I've probably mm-hmm. met him. Yeah. Okay. I did not know that I was going to run into that. You that's, know what I mean? Like, how okay. fun is that? Yes. Okay. So five of five kids, they're all grown. So this leaves you with a little bit of time right now, uh-huh. other than your job with the um, soil and water. What else do you, do you garden or do you have bees? Do you ride horses? Do you have dogs? You play cards with friends. What do you do? Well, we I have a kitty kitty. Oh, okay. What's your cat's name? <laughs> kitty kitty. Oh, it is kitty kitty. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. She's a sweetheart, and I just love her to death. And okay. I haven't, had never had animals like that in my life, really. And just the last couple of years, I decided I'm at that age. I need a little something else in my life. So oh. kitty kitty came along. Oh, yeah. Well, um, right now, we're in my office, and we have... Um, my dog is in a dog bed and my cat's in a chair. So, yes. and, and you just got to meet one of my um, favorite horses in yes, the world. Her name is Glamour. Mm-hmm. So beautiful. All right. So let's talk about this women in agriculture. Well, before we get into that, your, um, your husband, Nelson, he works at what used to be Gardner Denver, but now it is called what? Ingersoll Rand. Ingersoll mm-hmm. Rand. Yes. And so what do they do there? Well, they, um, to, to go on the simple side of it, they um, do air compressors. They make different types of air compressors, not just the little type like you see in our garages, uh, but these are large commercial type compressors and different types of um, other equipment that, okay. in that same uh, area. And how long does he work for them? <laughs> he worked or roughly right. He worked for Gardner Denver for ten years, and then he was away for ten years, and then he went back for ten years. 
Um, he was away for two years, and now he's back again. <laughs> so, well, so it's a company for him, I guess. Well, you know what? With him leaving and coming back, because, you know, just being away and stuff, the fact that um, he was rehirable says a lot because yes. he just left to go somewhere else and then came back. So that's yes, that says a lot about someone, you yes. know. Thank and you. it's it's really easy to um, it's really easy to go back into something if you enjoyed it. Yes. So mm-hmm. and the people that he worked with. Oh yeah, you know yes. what? I have a lot of friends that work for that company that's here in Sedalia, mm-hmm. and. Um, I don't ever hear anything bad. They all mm-hmm. love it. It seems like a big, um, very family-oriented yes. business. So. Yes, it is. Okay. Well, there you are. Y'all sound pretty country. Y'all yes. sound very country. The kids are doing good. They're completely doing all sorts of different things. You got grandkids. And, um, oh, does um, the two boys of Nelson, did you say if they had grandchildren? Nope, they don't. They're, oh. not, they're not married yet. They're both single boys, so girls, watch out. Uh-oh, uh-oh. They're both single boys, <laughs> and uh, I, maybe one day. Maybe, maybe one, one day. day. Okay. Yes. So how did you get involved with the Missouri Women in Ag? Well, through the organization that I work with, the Soil and Water Conservation Districts, um, first of all, I should back up and say there is a Soil and Water Conservation District in every county of Missouri. So 114 counties in Missouri, there's 114 Soil and Water Districts. And we find um, different educational areas to reach out to different people. And so Women in Ag was started, as I mentioned, about about 20 three years ago, 22, 23 years ago, um, and they just have grown and grown and grown uh, trying to reach out to women all over the state of Missouri just to show them what there is out there throughout the different areas of the state. Okay. Well, you know what I've always found? So we own Von Holton Ranch. It's a horse trail riding facility, and we just got through with a couple of these events called Chicks in the Sticks. And it's an all-inclusive women's only event, and all the foods included. They get a shirt. We have a painting instructor come in. Um, we go to a Mennonite lady's house, and she makes us a uh, meal from scratch. And then we go and do some um, shopping at local stores. And then we trout ride because it is called Chicks in the Sticks. So we got to go get in the sticks. Okay. Yes. But in that event, man, people love meeting other women and it's not a competition and you know what like that sisterhood is so much more important than what people realize because oh my gosh if we women whenever things have to get done it you know a lot of times things fall onto our plate of things that have to get done and uh, man it's just nice to have that connection with others that you you know you get to know like being a woman, you're not going to understand it unless you are a woman, you know, and and then having to keep the home together. And this is called women in agriculture. So like, it's just a whole mindset. So um, these conferences, how long are they? Are they a two or a three day? They're a three day. And they're Um, once a year? Once a year, held about the middle part of September normally, uh, depending on the location and what facilities are available. Okay. Um, So is there... um, Tell us what all you've done in the past. Okay. Well, I, w- I was trying to figure out the best way to um, tell you the location areas, h- how the rotation works. And uh, if you think about the state of Missouri, how it's facing, mm-hmm. and if you start with the Kansas City or the northwest uh, area, and you start there and you make a dot, and then you draw down to the Springfield area, mm-hmm. and then you draw up to the Sedalia area, then you draw down to the Cape Girardeau area, and then back up to the Hannibal area, it makes a W. Okay. So that's the W for women, and oh, that's okay. how the rotation works. So last year, the, the conference was in uh, Branson, and this year, it's going to be held for the first time ever in the central region. It will be held in Sedalia. Okay, so the first time to be held by the central region? No, or just first time in Sedalia. In Sedalia. Okay, so I don't know whenever you're listening to this, but the year is right now 2023, and so 
just to give you a point of reference, but every where was you said it was in Branson last year. Do you know where it's going to be next year? Well, um, according to the rotation, it should be back down in the Cape Girardeau area. Okay, somewhere in southeast. So, do these things have themes where you got to dress up? I mean, what? Yes, do, ma'am. Tell me what you. I mean, do you have live bands come in? Do you have um, presenters come in? Do you, what's the food like? Because I will tell you, if it's a bunch of women getting together. The food's going to be important, and they do not want to cook. You know, like, you know how many of my friends that are married and have kids, they're just like, I never realized it meant that I would have to make a decision for the rest of my life about (laughs) what to feed them. (laughs) That is true. (laughs) So tell me about the costumes. Tell me about the presenters. Tell me about the food. Okay. Well, I'm going to start out with saying every year, of course, depending on the location, um, that's what we, that's kind of how we come up with a theme. And we like a theme, um, mainly because a lot of our women really do like to dress the theme and follow through with it. Um, we will start on Monday, um, and we start with registration, opening speaker, and fill that day out with different types of workshops. Those workshops have anything to do with um, say dried flowers to um, canning. That uh, yes, You've probably yes. done canning before. Yes, yes, lots of different um, estate planning, um, uh, different things for cover crops. Um, this is some real stuff. This yes. isn't some fruity stuff. This right here is no. like oh, you're not wasting nobody's time. This is like educational. It is educational, okay. but but not long and boring. We make our workshops about forty five minutes. They're always about that time, so that you can we can get in several in, in an afternoon. You can learn so much. You can take notes. You can take a card from the presenter and follow up with them later. So okay. for Have items you, that you're interested in. So my mind, boom, things uh-huh. that I would love to learn about. I'm sure you've done beekeeping. Uh-huh. Yeah, that would be wonderful. Or how to get started in um, having a small um, a small garden. I'm sure you all do stuff like that. Back, I have Backyard a, birds. Yes. Oh, backyard. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know, and um, with my chicks in the sticks, you know, because we're seasonal. I've had people that have requested for me to have a sewing one. Oh. Just because, you know, and then bring in some of the Mennonites that we have around here and actually help us become better at sewing because there's a lot of things that, you know, our society's kind of gotten a little soft and we've gotten away from some of those skill sets that uh, that have proven to be pretty important. Kind of a lost art, the kind sewing. Of a, is. Well, I will tell you, like... Um, I need to improve my sewing. I don't know if any females out there have ever had the underwire of their bra poke out and then it feels like somebody's stabbing you and you got to get that underwire put back in there. Well, I've got to sew that top so it doesn't stab me in the breast, okay? Mm -hmm. So there's something important. And then always getting a hole in the armpit of probably like my favorite T-shirt. So Mm -hmm. just like basic stuff. But I would love to make a quilt. You know, I would love to have just a small throw. Like my mom used to make for every um, baby that was born in the family, if it was Mm. my cousin or if it was whoever, um, she used to make a homemade quilt for that baby. And now nobody, I don't know how to do that. I never did take the time to learn, you know. But um, so that's Monday. What do you Mm -hmm. do on Tuesdays? Well, and then usually, I mean, we make it a full day. So usually on Monday evening, we also do some sort of a banquet or outing. Make it a little dressy. That's when the girls can dress up in the theme for the year. Um, Go either go somewhere or have it in the hotel, wherever we're staying at. Okay. Um, And then we, and we have a nice dinner that, as you mentioned, the food is very important. So, so we make sure that we have a very nice dinner to go with that. And then on the, on the next day, on Tuesday, that's our tours day. That's the day we're picking uh, different places in the area to go to, to show off the area to the women from around the state of Missouri. Okay, so in 2013, yay, y'all chose Von Holten Ranch and 2023. Oh, oh my God, I said 2013. You did. Girl, I brought myself mm-hmm. all the way back into my 30s and everything, okay? <laughs> 
2023. Yes. Yes. Um, you know what? 2013 is whenever we bought the family farm. Okay. I think I'm thinking about the farm. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, 2023, you're coming to Von Holten Ranch, and uh, you're going to be in our wedding venue, and we've mm-hmm. won Missouri's Best Place to Get Married for the last two years. Yay. And my husband built that wedding venue, and then you're going to get to see um, a mounted archery, yes. um, which is cool. I have JoJo. JoJo is a mule. He, His daddy is most definitely a donkey, okay? <laughs> and not because he's a mule, but because JoJo... JoJo's a handful sometimes, okay. okay? But he's my mounted archery mule, and we've been on the cover of a couple of magazines doing mounted archery, and we have like an actual mounted archery um, course here at Von Holten Ranch. And we're in the county of Pettis County, which is in the same county as Sedalia, which is the same county where the Missouri State Fair is. So you're going to be doing a lot on the Missouri State Fairgrounds and then coming out here. And um, you asked me to do a, a speech. I think I'm doing a speech about the importance of diversification or I think it, that was one of the topics or um, just about, you know, being a female in because most cowgirls and cowboys are not built like me. I'm a, I'm most definitely am a red beans and rice kind of girl fried potatoes and cornbread, if you know what I'm saying. If you know what I'm saying, I know good food, okay? Well, most of the people in the horse industry weigh about half of what I do, okay? (laughs) But we, I'm successful. I mean, I'm successful in the horse industry, and I love what I'm doing, and I know that I'm being impactful with what we're doing, like especially with like our Country Tough Trail Versatility. That's a competition series, and I developed that, and now I've got a board, and it's just it's really helping people out and helping horses and mules out. So y'all are going to get to come and see all that. And uh, I yes. might even sing for y'all. I we, don't know. <laughs> we are excited. In our planning process, as you remember, we ask you to come in and just present us what maybe you could offer. Mm-hmm. And I'm telling you, Miss Brandy blew us away. Now, <laughs> she she was talking about her size, but I tell you the beauty in this woman and what she did to bring us in and and make us want to come here and have her speak has been, was just amazing. And we're excited for that day to come. Well, thank you very much. And you know what? The person that had planted the seed with y'all and planted the seed with me, her name is Whitney Watson. Yes. And Whitney Watson is just a gentle soul. She's a wonderful, wonderful mother. And, uh, and she's one of my mounted archers. And she has just been just pleasant to be around and just always so supportive. And I know that she was just like, hey, I know this lady. Yes. I know this. And she comes to all of y'all's women in agriculture events, and she just looks forward to them. You know, and if Whitney says that she likes something, then I know it's nice. There you I go. know it's nice. So little shout out to Whitney Watson. She is most definitely, you know what, it's just conversations amongst people. Yes. You know, because people are, we're all just people. Mm -hmm. And uh, you just never know that little network that's going to happen. Whitney, a little background on Whitney. She also used to work for Soil and Water Conservation. That's how we kind of met and through the Women in Ag. And we've just connected so much over the years. Now, I have a group from Benton County that goes every year to the conference. But Whitney's one of my little stepchildren. She comes and joins us and her and her friends. And so I just include her in everything that we do and, and very thankful for her. When we first talked about having that here in Central Region area, she did bring your name up. She said, this is what you need to do. Um, and she planted the seed. You're correct. Yeah. So thankful for her. Well, and you know, something funny about her daughter, her, you know, Whitney has bought just about everything I have for sale here. Okay. She's got finger puppet sets that go along with my children's book. Cause I wrote um, their agriculture based books where each book has a different moral lesson. And each one of them, um, showcases one of our horses or mules, well, she she has the finger puppet set, and then she'll give it to her daughter, and her daughter's like, Miss Brandy gave that to me. Oh. And then Whitney doesn't want to like be like, Miss Brandy didn't give you that. I gave you that. She made that. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, it, it was a product that we have. But she, her daughter always gives me so much credit. She's, I, I mean, I must be like Santa Claus to her daughter because she thinks that I give her everything, Yay. but she doesn't know it's her <laughs> mama. Yes. But they have a little black pony named um, Pop. Tart. 
Tart. Yeah, I almost yes. said popcorn. I had a popcorn before that would pop you in the knee um, if you weren't looking, okay? But she has a Pop-Tart, and Pop-Tart, I think, won Whitney's first buckle for her in our in-hand division in Country Tough Mounted Ar- oh. or Country Tough Trail Versatility. And she's also a mounted archer. It's just, it's so weird about all these different things and how they all come together. Yes. So, and all the pieces that she's been a part of. I, I forget how much stuff that we host here until I have someone that does a lot of them and then they're trying to explain it to people. And then I was yes. just like, man, we sound like a hot mess express. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. So yeah. Um, what do you do on Wednesdays? Well, on Wednesdays, that's our, that's our last day. That's our closing day. So we kind of just wind down a bit. We do finish up with a, a couple of workshops and then just an open session for everyone, uh, inspirational speaking at that time too, um, just to uh, close out our event. Of course, we got to have hand out some door prizes. Everybody loves door prizes. So between, oh, yeah. between food and door prizes and, and just that social time, everybody together um that that's what we do well and that was really smart of y'all to develop an event that's not on a weekend because everything's on the weekends oh my goodness because most people are working monday through thursday or monday through friday and then the weekends are just packed so the fact that y'all are like we're gonna do something but here we go we're gonna stay off of the weekend that was really smart of y'all yes so all right well if somebody wanted to find out about this are they who all can come Pretty much anybody that wants to register can come. There's information, and we, of course, have a Facebook page. That is Missouri Women in Agriculture on the Facebook page. Um, There is a website also. I'm not going to say that that's kept up as well as it should be, but the the Women in Ag, the Missouri Women in Agriculture on Facebook is the best way to keep up with that, or contacting your local soil and water conservation district because all of them should be very well aware of the women's conference okay all right well hey if you have any question now tina tina's not in charge of the whole thing tina is the vice chairman for the central region correct so i just want to tell you like thank you for choosing von holton ranch because you know what all of those people are going to see our facility they're going to know that we exist yes you know that is so beneficial to everyone that gets to be involved. And the fact that you are, I love that you're spreading it out instead of just going into one area Mm -hmm. because that helps out and it creates commerce for all of those areas. I mean, the fact that y'all are going to be on the Missouri State Fairgrounds um, this time, but you're staying at one of the hotels. And then, I mean, that just really creates a lot of income, you know, as... As we all know, you need to spend your dollars where you want to spend your dollars at. And it's good to support local, and it's good to support the USA. It's good to support your state. So, like, I love that y'all are doing something that's educational and that it's bringing women together because community over competition Mm -hmm. always. And, like, you're creating just a wonderful environment for Women in agriculture. Yes, ma'am. So, all right. So if you'd like to get in touch with Tina, Tina works at the Benton County Soil and Water Conservation. And then you can look up on Facebook. It sounds like it's the best way. Just look up Missouri Women in Agriculture. All right. Well, thank you for tuning in to Big Boss Mayor with Brandy Von Holton.